All right. Well, welcome back. And what we have right here is we are going to be talking about 2.2a um, and some quick little notes that you should probably have down um, regarding this section. So some key things in here is that we're talking about density curves, as you can see right there. Um, also estimating locations of mean, median, and density curve. And then finally using the empirical rule, which is the 68-95-99.7 rule that estimates proportion of values of a normal distribution. So um, things that you should know is first off, with a density curve, is that a density curve has a total area of one. Okay, it's an area of one. That's very, very important. Um, when we talk about a uniform distribution, let's just say we go to A, all right, let's say we go to B, um, a uniform distribution is where everything is straight along this line, all right? So all the values are the same. And so when you refer to a density curve, we essentially are taking um, the height and this width, all right? And what we know is that this area underneath has to equal 1. And so B minus A, all right, that range times H has to equal 1 if it's a density curve. Okay, so that, those are some of the information we know about density curves and that model distribution. Now also, when we compare, all right, when we compare mean and median, um, we want to make sure that uh, we know that if it's skewed to the right, we talked about this in previous sections, if it's skewed to the right, that means that all the values being pushed, and when you take the average, push to the right, to the right so that means the mean's gonna be greater. Likewise, when you have a median more over to the uh, right side, and it's skewed to the left, that means the mean is being pushed to the left, that means it's gonna be less than the median because these are larger values, all right, larger values over here. And then finally, um, when you have a uh, symmetric distribution, they are approximately equal, all right, because the mean and median are located in the center. There you go. Okay, now, next thing is when we talk about um, a normal distribution. So if we have a normal distribution here, let's say N, all right, 60, all right, because that's the mean, let's say right there. And our, when we write this, we label it as N, saying it's a normal distribution. Um, we put our mean first, followed by, all right, our standard deviation. Now, our standard deviation in this case, as you can see, from the mean to one standard deviation away, all right, um, on both sides, we can see that the standard deviation in this case is equal to five, all right, is equal to five. And so I'm going to put my standard deviation right there, and so that's how we would label this graph. Now, when you have one standard deviation away, so one standard deviation away, all right, um, and so we're taking our mean plus one standard deviation. Over here, we're taking our mean minus the standard deviation. Well, this area is going to equal 68% of the data. So all the distribution, 68% of the data, is located one standard deviation away from the mean. So if you want to divide that up, because it is symmetrical, all right, we know that each side, one standard deviation of this, represents 34% of the data. And you might want to copy this down in your notes. This is a good little reference for you. When you have that. Now, when you go to two standard deviations on both sides, all right, two standard deviations on both sides, um, what we have, oops, let's use a minus. All right, uh, when you go to two standard deviations on both sides, what we see is that's going to be 95% of the data. 95% of the data. Now, when you take that and you um, break it up a little bit, um, you can see that, well, since the middle is 68, and then you subtract that from 95 and divide that into 2, you realize you have, all right, 13.5% of the data. And these one sec sections from standard deviation 1 to 2 is 13.5. Then finally, we can go, all right, if we subtract three standard deviations away from the mean, all right, and we add one right here, all right, standard deviation. Um, what you realize that's not is about approximately 99.7% of the data. All right, 99.7% of the data. So if you take that, subtract that from 95, divide it by 2, and you get 2.35, 2.35, and that is that small little area. Okay, located right here. All right. And then finally, if you want to add, because I don't have it right there, but if you want to add the other part, okay is that this last part portion okay. 
is when you have this final portion, this final portion right there, is what we can do is we can take, all right, 0 0.3, all right, 0 0.3, all right, and that's really what we got, 0.3% of data, all right, and if you take 0.3% and divide that by 2, all right, you literally have a very small percentage, which is 0.15% of this final portion on both sides. Okay, and that's a percent. All right, so that's very, very small. So anything that's three standard deviations away from the mean is a very, very, very small uh, percent um, and uh, very uncommon. All right, very uncommon. All right, so uh, kind of recapping. What we have right here are notes on density curves and how do you model that with uniform um, distributions, which are flat, um, estimating uh, relative location, the mean median, giving a density curve, and then finally using this 68, 95, 99.7 rule, which is known as the empirical rule, the empirical rule um, when you're talking about statistics. All right, hope this helps you out. Good luck and God bless for the rest of your problems. Oh, wait, one final thing. All right. Um, ideal mean, when you talk about right here uh, with a normal distribution, uh, is going to be zero, all right, and then it's also going to be one when you talk about standard. Okay, standard distribution. We got that right there. Okay, um, and that's what we have for that. Oops, thanks. Bye.